Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing the ugly cousin of the Dementor, the Letherfold. In Harry Potter, there really isn't a lot of information provided to us on Letherfolds. However, if you know about Dementors, then you're already half of the way to understanding what a Letherfold is. As we know, Dementors are cloaked creatures that are 3 meters tall with dark grey scabby skin. They are truly foul and represent unhappiness and despair originally created by J.K. Rowling as a way of representing depression. They are the guards of Azkaban prison, and are responsible for ensuring that all of the darkest witches and wizards inside of the prison stay put. The only known defense against a Dementor is Expecto Patronum, and in the books and films, Harry is quick to learn the Patronus charm because of his frequent run-ins with these dark creatures. Expecto Patronum evokes a positive energy force known as a Patronus, which is considered to be the spirit guardian of the caster. The Patronus represents hope, happiness, survival, and purity. As the Patronus does not feel despair or hopelessness as a human might, the Dementors can't hurt it and are repelled by its presence. However, what is particularly interesting about Expecto Patronum is that it is also used to ward off Letherfolds. I feel that this truly speaks to the dark nature of Letherfolds. If they're compared to Dementors at all, then they've got to be pretty awful. We know that the Patronus charm is effective against Letherfolds because in 1752, Wizard Flavius Belby used a Patronus to ward off a Letherfold during an attack, and like Dementors, it's the only known defense against them. Flavius Belby described the attack as follows. It resembled nothing so much as a rippling black cape, the edges fluttering slightly as it slithered up the bed towards me. Creepy. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them describes Letherfolds as follows. The Letherfold resembles a black cloak roughly half an inch thick and appears slightly thicker if the creature has recently digested a victim. It glides along surfaces in an unknown form of locomotion in search of its prey, humans. It attacks at night when the target is asleep, by suffocating and then digesting it. By the sounds of it, the Letherfold is, dare I say it, more terrifying than a Dementor. It preys on humans at night, it's just as difficult to ward off, and it sounds like it has its own agenda entirely, consume as many humans as possible. The etymology behind the name Letherfold is quite sinister, as Letherfold comes from two roots. Lethem, variation of Letum, which is Latin for death, annihilation, and ruin, as well as Fold, which likely alludes to the creature's cloaked appearance. The Letherfold is a truly, truly highly dangerous magical beast. They are extremely aggressive, violent, and even carnivorous. Though extremely similar to Dementors, they do differ in that they are classified by the Ministry of Magic as a category XXXXX creature, a classification reserved for wizard killers that are impossible to train or domesticate. Dementors are just classified as non-beings. Additionally, Letherfolds eat their victims, where Dementors just suck out their soul, and Letherfolds are non-humanoid, while Dementors are humanoid, meaning that wizards have been able to communicate with Dementors. Luckily, the Letherfold is found only in tropical climates, so as long as you don't go on holiday, you should be safe from them. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want more videos on dark and evil beasts? Let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry!